Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to another video here on the channel now. Today, the update brought a lot. And by update, I don't even mean an update, I mean a hotfix. It is Fortnite's 7th birthday, we had the week 6 quests, we had the part 6 quests. We've had a slight change to ranked, which I'll get on into in a minute. And we've got ranked reload. Jump into ranked reload with your squad or your favourite duo and climb from bronze to unreal. Ranked progression will be based on total team eliminations and placement. So, yeah, we finally have a ranked version of Reload. Hopefully, that'll take all the sweats out of regular Reload, fingers crossed. As for the changes to Ranked at the moment, for the next week, Siphon is being trialled in Reload, with 40 health or shield per elimination. So... Do keep that in mind if you play some ranked over the course of the next week. Like I say as well, it is interesting as well to see that we do have the birthday quests. You cannot complete the birthday quests in ranked reload, they have to be done in zero build or battle royale. But going and getting cake, the birthday battle bus is back. Who could hate it? Fortnite's seventh birthday. But without further ado, let's jump in to ranked reload zero build. So, here we are folks, reload. The 7th birthday battle bus is here as well with the sort of cosmic stars. But as you can see, there's no major changes to reload. The map is still the same at the moment. The concept is still the same at the moment. There is supposed to be a ranked, uh, well, not necessarily ranked, but reload solos coming soon, in which you get a kill and that gives you an extra life. Not quite sure how that one will work, but just keep in mind the loot pool of reload does change week on week normally so what loot pool you see me picking up right now in this match might not match the loot pool that you have when you play it yourself depending on when you play it as opposed to when I release this video um, but all in all reload still the same good old fast paced game mode I don't know personally if I prefer it, because I see a lot of people saying, oh, I love Reload, and don't get me wrong, it's a great mode to play every now and then, but personally I'm just more into the sort of zero build vibe, the, the respawns, eh, it's nice, but it depends, I think Epic are very much catering to a lot of of different people at the moment and in some respects it's working for them in some respects it's not I mean <laughs> we don't need to bring up rocket racing but to bring up <laughs> rocket racing let's put it this way I think Epic have realized that whilst certain things that they do are good not everyone in the community is gonna like it so it's the case of try to cater to everyone but I think they're still going to have to prioritise certain things and I do still think that Battle Royale Zero Build should be their main priorities um, Reload's a nice one to work on because it's not too dissimilar to the game it's quite popular Lego I think is actually is surprisingly popular I think Fortnite Festival and um, Rocket Racing are the weakest of those game modes though, is the only problem. So let's continue with the match. Alright folks, what do you do when there's someone running right next to you is the true question. Do you chase after them? Do you let them get away? Do you do neither of the above and come up with another option? Good question. And I mean, in a ranked version of a game mode, you're almost definitely gonna want to go for those kills, aren't you? So, speaking of, let's head over here, see if we can get these kills. I'm 
There's an awful lot of people here. But the thing is, is the map for this game mode is not actually that massive, is it? So you're gonna get a lot of people in smaller areas. It's inevitable, but yeah, it's whether or not you can handle it. Can you handle that pressure? Or will you get knocked like I'm probably about to do? It's just too many people. Too many people and too small an area. And the question as well is, do you wait for your teammate to come and revive you? Or do you just hold down and start your reroute timer early? Because obviously, right now, yes, my teammate could get to me and revive me potentially so that I don't lose my weapons. But at the same time, if they do that, I'm just prolonging the amount of time they don't have a teammate alive. Which means I'm prolonging the timer that they have to stay alive for. But to be fair, it looks like I've got a pretty good team. Do I head back over there and get my loot back? Do I go and land with them? That's that's why this game mode is very interesting because it's very fast paced, it makes you think on the spot. It makes you play things in a different way as well. Do you want to be aggressive? Do you want to push with your teammate? Do you want to split up a little bit so that if one of you dies the other person can keep the team alive? And it's only a question that you can answer in the moment. So, I do like Reload. It's just not my go-to game mode. But, as you can see right now, when I'm playing it, I enjoy it. But, who knows? What is annoying is that Survivor Medals don't count in this game mode. That's the annoying one, but... I can see why they don't... Head on down to where we died, and hopefully we can get some of our loot back. In fact, it looks like we can get all of our loot back and more. Combat pistol. I don't even remember that being in the loot pool. Like I can kind of remember it, but I don't. I could not tell you when that was in the loot pool. Interesting. <clears throat> Honestly, I feel like at this point I'm just trying to run around and get what I can. So let's use the power of editing to jump forward a little bit further. The thing is, is towards this point in the game, as you can see, no one dies. So reboots are ending in 90 seconds, but no one's died for a while. So you sort of have that surge, and then you have a little bit of calm before the reboots get disabled. And then unfortunately, if you're unlucky, you just get out of and unfortunately when something like that happens there's very little that you can do about it so let's just see where that actually puts us then because we just came fourth place and between the two of us we had 16 eliminations so where is that placing us for our first match okay bronze three i don't think is actually that bad um because dare i say it I don't, I don't see how anyone could get spawned higher because what is your initial rank based on? So I think that's a good place to start. All in all, we'll have to see how ranked reloads works with another match. But for now, that was a little look at ranked reload. 
So then folks, just a real quick spoiler alert for you. Getting a win with 17 eliminations gets you 113%. So a full tier up is probably going to require you to place like top 3 with about 15 kills. So to be fair they have accounted for the fact that you have respawns into your rank. So just keep that in mind. So folks, with all that being said and done, that is Ranked Reload. Pretty fun, pretty cool, and seemingly pretty well balanced. With all that said and done though, thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you found it informative, enjoyable and fun to watch as always, and I'll see you all in the next one.